What's going on, man? We're back again with another video, and today we are here to talk about Victor Wembanyama. Listen, I feel like this is the perfect time to talk about Wemby because he has been on an absolute tear, and he's having me question a lot of things in the NBA as far as how I want to rank him in the NBA amongst other players because I do want to give respect to other NBA players that's been doing it for a long time. But he's just been so amazing. I'm not gonna lie, he's been so amazing. And like when we get outside from comparing him to other players that's in his class, that's in his rookie class, like when we really just look at him as a player and focus all on him, this is a very, very, very crazy player. We've never seen something like this, never in our life. None of us has been alive to see Wilt. This is the closest thing to Wilt. We've never been allowed to see this. So we have never seen something this, I, I kind of want to describe it as weird. Because like when you really sit back and look at it, this is a 7'4 guy doing heavy tween crosses, pull up threes, seven blocks damn near a game, it seems like. We've never seen this in our life. We've never seen this level of domination. Four stressful games, of course, since damn near like Will. And none of us were allowed to see Will. So that's why I want to talk about Victor and see where he ranks as far as other guys in the NBA. But before we get into this video, listen, bro, I just want to say sorry, bro. I ain't, I ain't dropping a video in like a week and a half. It was my birthday week, bro. You, you kind of have to let me take that break. I, I, it was my birthday, bro. I had to celebrate that. But other than that, I'm back. Like I said in the intro, this is the hardest player in the rink in the NBA because I really want to give my respect to the other guys, but he is making it very hard. Just to talk about Wemby, starting off with the defense. He is playing in an air with other generational defenders like a Rudy Gobert, like a Draymond Green, like an Anthony Davis. Guys that are still pretty much basically in their defensive primes. And he might be better than all of them. I give my respect to Rudy because I think Rudy has been on another level this year. But if the award was to end right now, he would finish in second and defense player of the year for me. Wemby has been amazing on that side. The one thing I'm looking for is just to see him guard better on the perimeter. And I know it's crazy that when I said that, he just had a really good perimeter defensive possession on Josh Giddy. But back to the point. I want to see him guard better on the perimeter because I do see him get blown out of going by a lot. But I do think him having a damn near eight. I, I think it actually might be an eight foot wingspan. Him having a eight foot wingspan is helping him out. So even though he's getting blown by, he's still able to recover. His recovery time, I think, is pretty good. And we all know his shot blocking is crazy. His awareness is crazy. He's getting smarter on that end. And I think him being smarter this early is the scary part. Because I, I can admit, probably the first 26 games is all off of instincts. Like I said, in the, if you follow me on Twitter, him and Chet, as of right now, most of this stuff is instincts. Most of this stuff is instincts and talent. They do not know what they're doing. And I'm pretty sure when they look at themselves in the mirror, they don't know what they're doing. It's absolutely crazy, especially with the Wimby. So back to him. I don't think, as of right now, he's all there on the defensive side as far as his smart his IQ, but I think he's getting better with his IQ. And when that happens, that's a scary sight. When he knows when to pressure somebody, when not to pressure somebody, when to jump, when not to jump. I do see him get uh, caught on pump face a lot. When that stuff stops, he's going to be the best defender of all time. But then we go to the other side of the ball. Listen, I am one that admits he probably wasn't used the best to start off his career, but I understand how they were using him. But the way Pop is using him now is kind of scary. Like, I think he's just giving him all the keys and says, you go figure it out. I trust you to figure it out. I think you're smart enough to figure it out. And Victor is actually figuring it all out. Pop allowing him to get the ball off the rim and take it up the court has helped this team out so much. They're able to get into their offense faster. And that's what they need to do because this team is not going to be a good half court offense at all because they just don't have the talent for it yet. They have two very good talents in Devin Vassell and Victor Wemiyama, of course. And I would say Jeremy Sochan has been very, very good as of late, but he's not really known for his offensive talent. It's just more so Devin Vassell and Vic. So I understand Pop letting him get the ball off the rim and get the ball up the court very quick because that helps them get into the offense a lot faster and that's going to be a lot easier for them to do because they're not really smart enough to have a good half-court offense as of right now. And I think that's helped them out a lot. I think it, help, it helps Wimby out a lot, not only with his confidence, but him just being able to pass and see the offense more from up top of the key and that's going to make him unguardable if he's able to hit you from the top of the key from in the post under the rim it's just going to be something hard to guard when he's in his peak and when it comes to his scoring i think he's only getting better i do think a lot of it is assisted and that's that's okay i i, I think the part that made wimby generational for me 
I don't know if it's from for, for y'all, but the defense. I knew the defense was gonna be crazy from the jump. I, I would be lying if I thought it was gonna be this crazy, cause I, I I'm not gonna lie. He, to to be honest, at times he looks like the best defender of all time. But that was the generational part for me. I didn't expect him to come up here and do what he did in that G League game where he's hitting side step threes consistently and shit. No, I didn't expect that. I knew it was gonna take some time for that stuff to come because I do know not even five years, two years down the line, that stuff is gonna be there and we're all gonna be in trouble. This might be the best player in two to three years. It's, it's just that crazy. I knew that stuff was gonna come, but I didn't expect it to look so effortless at times when he has to create for himself because I feel like most of the time he's getting put in a position to thrive and to score, but when he has to create for himself, at times it looks so easy. Now he does have this time where he gets loose with the handle, but bro, a 7-5 big is not supposed to have a handle at all, so I don't care at times if he gets loose with it. Okay, just go out there and get loose with it. But I do think when that handle tightens up, and I know it will tighten up, that is a scary sight for the rest of the league, and it's something, again, we have never seen before. And when you're talking about with me, that is something you've never seen before. You will hear that sentence every time you talk about Wimby because we have never seen this before. You could probably compare it to Wilt. Bro, ain't nobody else watching my channel was over 50 years old. We didn't see Wilt. And I don't even know if Wilt was playing basketball 50 years ago. I don't even know if he was alive 50 years, old, 50 years ago. So, like I said, we've never seen something like this. So, to talk about Vic, I just don't know where to rate him. Because, to start off, I wouldn't say like he was playing bad or anything. I just think he started off pretty slow. And this last two months, he's been crazy. He's been absolutely crazy. But could you rate somebody that high because of too much of basketball? We've seen it happen from Tyree Salaburn. And after these, after those two months, and he started playing back to Tyree Salaburn ball, I'm not hearing a lot of Tyree Salaburn talking, especially these last 15 games where he's been trash. I'm definitely not hearing no Tyree Salaburn talk. So me, I don't want to overrate him because of the stretch, because I will admit he's been damn near top 15 player in this stretch. But... I don't want to overrate him, bro. I don't. I don't think, and I know the question a lot of people want from this. I don't think him and Chet is an argument as of right now. I think Wimby is better. But I don't think it's a clearing. And I think a lot of people would think it's a clearing. And I just think that's wild. But we won't really talk about it. Let's talk where he ranks. I made a tweet that said, Chet and Wimby, what they're doing right now is all instincts. I mentioned this earlier in the video. But in that tweet, you see me say, one is top 25, one is top 40. The top 25 is Vic. I I can't. I can't name 25 players better. Uh, I, I'll try. When we do this ranking, I'll try. <laughs> but bro, I, I don't think I can name 25 players better. Okay, so this is not my list. But this is the closest thing to a top 50 that I can find on the internet as right now. Plus, I didn't really feel like making my own. So, I'm going to go off this. This is not my list, by the way. But we're just going to forget like this some players in, in this tier. We're going to forget everybody in this tier. None of these players are better than Wimby. Uh, Pascal, maybe, but no. None of Jalen Brunson. I mean, Jalen Jalen Brown, no. No, none of these players. Paolo, hell no. If not, none of these players are better than Vic. We're going to start from the top and name the guys that are obviously better than Vic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I don't know why I skipped them. Actually, all these players are better. I, I'm going to say all these players. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. 15, no, Tyrese is not better. 15, 16, 16, 17, 18. 18, 19, 20. We'll talk about it. Okay, that's where we stop. These 20 guys right here. These 20 guys. Follow them out. These 20 guys. Boom. 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 These 20 guys to me are clear better players than Vic. They're clear. Um, You can have the argument with Bam. I disrespect Bam. I think Bam is the better offensive player as of right now. 
Vic looks cuter on offense. Don't get me wrong, it looks cuter. Pause. He does look cuter, but his game looks cuter on offense. But I think he's a better player on offense. And I think his defense is right up there with Wimby. Wimby's just, again, looks cuter. Um, De'Aaron, I think he's just solidified number one option in the league. Jalen Brunson, I, I don't think it's solidified yet, but I do think he's just very, very good. Like, I don't even have conversations about Darius and Jalen no more. Jalen's just, he's that guy. These guys right here, like, I don't think, again, boop, skip that. <laughs> I don't think these guys are, Trey's kind of arguable, but I don't really see it. These guys are just not no arguments for Wimby right now. These guys are all clearly better than Wimby. Clearly better than Wimby. So, 20 guys are better than Wimby. The conversations that we are about to have, because like I said, I do think he's a lot top 25. This is the group I have Wimby in. I, I don't have Tyrese Ellemar in this group. I'm not even going to lie. Um... And Murray, why are you here? The conversation I have Wimby in is Ant, Kyrie, B.I., K.P., Rudy. That's it. That's that's the conversation. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and Paul George. That's the conversation I'm willing to have. Because like I said, I think he's locked. I think he's locked top five. I'm top 25. I think he's locked. But the conversations I'm willing to have to see like where he ranks in that 20 to 25 era is between him and BI, him and KP, him and Paul George, him and Ant, and him and Kyrie. Listen, Ant, and I see this a lot with Apollo. I think we rate Ant like he is three years down the line, Anthony Evans. Like, what I mean by that is. We rate him like he is a player that he's going to be three years down the line when he's not that right now. But I still think that player is better than Vic. I just think he's a better offensive player, even though I, I think it's close. <laughs> just and scoring is clear. And scoring is pretty clear. But Vic might have that on playmaking, bro. I'm not going to lie. He might have an IQ. He might have that. But I, I do think the offense, I will clearly take his offense. Will I clearly take Wimby's defense? Yes. But I do think And is a pretty good defender. Um, Kyrie. I think Kyrie's clear on offense. It's clear. And then, like, defense with Kyrie. Like, what are we talking about? I don't really want to make that hurt Kyrie in this argument. I just think Kyrie is a better player as of right now. Now, let's go to Rudy. I will give him the nod over Rudy. Just because he has the offense. But I do think their defense, I will give the, the nod to uh, Rudy Gobert. But he has the offense. But that would put him at 21, 22. That would put him at 23 right now. We're having these two discussions right now. Paul George. Ah. Ah. It, the role that Paul George plays with the talent that he plays, I understand the, the lack of production at times. Because at sometimes it's just not needed. But I don't know. The defense is drop off. But, but I, he's still a good defender. Yeah, I would take Paul George. I think he's the more complete offensive player as of right now. The more I wouldn't say more consistent as of late because Vic has been crazy. I want to say more consistent because Vic has been crazy and also Paul George as of late has been kind of bad on offense. But as an overall player, I would take Paul George. And then B.I. I, 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 to me, B.I.'s offense is, is clear. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's pretty clear. It's very, very clear. It's probably the most clear out of every, everybody that we've had the argument of. Except for Kyrie. Kyrie's offense is crazy. One of the best of all time. But B.I.'s offense is clear. Vic's defense is very, very clear. But I think B.I. has been a good defender this year. If you look at the numbers, if you watch the Pelicans play, he's the, a part of the reason, not just Herb Dome, he's the part of the reason why this is a top 10 defense in the league. So I will give the nod to B.I. Do I feel good about it? I don't really care, bro. Like, bro, sit back. Of rookies top 25 in the league. That's just crazy to say. So I would have him as my 24th ranked player. I think he's clearly better than and this is gonna sound disrespectful. This Tyrese Halliburton said that I don't I don't I don't see what y'all see, bro. I don't I don't. I think he's better than Halley. I think he's better than I'm about to go over the controversial guys, but I think he's better than and it might not be controversial because Vic has a lot of fans. I think he's better than Halley. I think he's better than Jamal. I don't even know why they're here. I think he's better than Zion, obviously. It's it, that's damn near a clearing. He's so disappointing. But that's a clearing. Um Oh, I didn't talk about KP. I don't think he's better than KP. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he's better than KP, so I'll have him at uh 20 
four, three or four. I don't. I think KP is the better offensive player. Um, I don't think it's clearing, but I, I do I do prefer KP's offensive game a lot more, especially since he's with the Celtics team. I think that's helped him out in different places in his offensive game. I do prefer his offense, and I think he's he's a very, very underrated defender. I think KP is, is still very good on defense. Not big level good, but I still think he's very, very good. So I would have him right under uh, I'm I'm, t I'm taking I'm taking big over Paul George. Yeah, he's 25. He's 20. I will have him right at 25. And like I said, y'all can take him over KP and BI. I just prefer them a lot more. And I do think they are better. Just wait. I think they're better offensive players. I think it's a, it's clear that they're better offensive players. Same thing with and same thing with Kyrie. Big being top 25 as a rookie is crazy. That means he's everything he was supposed to be in his rookie year. Like we expected in top all time um prospect, and that's what he was. He's crazy. And now that I'm doing this video, I kind of want to make a video like about Chet, bro. I want to make a Chet video with this, bro, because I, I actually like this. But yeah, um, biggest top 25. So there you go, bro. Listen, bro, we are talking about a rookie being a top 25. That means he's everything he was supposed to be as an all-time prospect, bro. We were told he's an all-time prospect, and he came in here improved it right away now you might have some names that you might take him over and i'm okay with that because i think he's that great but yeah i think he's top 25 i believe i said i had him at 24 so yeah vic is very very good very very good now i'm doing this and i i hate the comparisons and i'm about to do it bro i'm, I'm really am about to do it i really want to make a video about check with this same like format because i feel like those two are very very good rookies Chet, I mean, no, Wimby being damn near all time. And Chet being damn near, Vince is very, very, very good. Some we haven't seen in a long time, but Wimby is the all time. And I'm okay with that. I cannot, and I'm going to go on a tangent. I don't want to do it. I'm going to do it on one minute tangent. I cannot wait till y'all stop comparing this two because I want y'all stop comparing these two because I feel like Dick being so great makes y'all shit on Chet. And that's just shouldn't be the case, bro. Chet is something we haven't seen in a long time either. Chet is crazy. And once he gets out of that shadow and y'all realize how great Chet is, bro, y'all gonna see, bro, Chet is one of them ones. But that's it for this video, man. I'll talk to you guys later, maybe with a Chet video. So peace out.